his hand. I said, give me your hand, let's get out. Leaving no man behind, an act of true bravery, a firefighter runs into intense, fast-moving flames to rescue a comrade in trouble. And that firefighter was just seconds from dying when he put out a mayday call. And it was a firefighter from another department who did not hesitate to run into this, to put his own life on the line. Shante Lands is live in Saugus Forest tonight. And Shante, we are talking about true heroes here. Yeah, that's right. Good evening. Those firefighters were actually on the first floor of this home here. You can see firefighters are still on scene at this house here on Essex Street. Now, tonight, they have their colleagues to thank for saving their lives. From the ground to the air, crews from four fire districts battle a three-alarm blaze on Essex Street in Saugus. They save an 84-year-old, her daughter, and granddaughter. But while fighting flames... They blew the air horns, which means everybody out of the building. Three of their own. You hear the mayday. Become trapped. Saugus' fire chief says one of his three fighters still inside fell from the stairs, knocking off his helmet mask. He was quickly losing oxygen. That's when 15-year Malden firefighter vet Gregory Jean spotted him from outside. All right, well, I heard him pounding the window to break it. Then I seen his hand, and I reached in and I said, brother, give me a hand, brother. This is the living room window where that firefighter pulled his colleague out. He says he landed in these bushes. He had his tank, was getting caught, just dragged him out and uh, kind of embraced. Their hug was brief. Within moments, we turned around and that room was fully involved. Two, you quickly recount and I, I guess sort of take in how close it actually was. 20-year Saugus firefighter vet Chris Rizza ran inside and led the two remaining trapped firefighters out the front door. He honestly thought he was going to die in the fire and that, you know, he might not make it out. Uh, he was running really low on air. He, he felt like he had like a couple of seconds left of air and, and that was going to be it. Hopefully it's something that I never have to deal with ever again because I never want to see a brother or a sister in harm's way ever again. And investigators believe that fire may have started in the basement at this hour. Reporting live in Saugus, Shantae Lands, WBZ News. David. Shantae, thank you.